Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company. Welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I'm here with Antonio, our boatless angler, and yes folks, we are boatless today, and I know that makes Antonio very, very happy. He's behind me there rigging up right now. I'm already rigged because I got the pre-tied T-turn bait rig here. All I had to do is tie that on, and it's ready to go. This is the one for Channel Cat. It's the number uh, seven T-turn bait rig, and to it, I've bait it up with the Thunder Mist bait pocket. And what I've got is some cut bait, cut sucker basically, and some liver that I mixed together and I just stuffed it in there. And then quite simply, you just pull it tight and you've got yourself more or less a chum bag. It's called the bait pocket. And you've, you, those of you who've tuned in, seen me use it before. And what I love about them is you can put whatever concoction you want in there. It's gonna release a lot of scent and it's red in color so the catfish will be able to see it and hone in on it. So. Let's get my line out there. Okay, we're gonna cast it out. And this is a patient, it's a game of patience now. So what we gotta do, that bait pocket's gonna be releasing a lot of scent. And basically, it's sit and wait for a bite. So as they come around, the catfish will come around, they'll, they'll hone in on the bait. Hopefully pick it up and give itself a nice bite or two. So, which in fact, what is that? Can't be a bite already, is it? I just saw my rod tip go, but uh, I don't think that was a bite. But I'll tell you what, if that was a bite, it's gonna be a good sign of th good things to come. So we'll see what happens. So that's gonna be the game plan today. Um, Antonio's gonna be running a sliding sinker rig, um, which is a little bit different than my setup, but they're both great for channel cat. We're hoping to get in some good fish. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> okay, so it was a bite after all. Oh my, I must have just dropped it right on his head or something. So it feels like a catfish. Now this time of year we could also get into, there's also bowfin around, so you never know, it might get into a bowfin. But this feels like a catfish. I can feel those head sways going back and forth. Okay. Yes, it feels like a decent catfish too. See how the rod, I don't know if you can see the rod tip, how it's going boom, boom. That's typical catfish with the head sways back and forth. Oh, he's peeling drag. Oh my goodness, this is, this is great. And I gotta tell you, uh, thank you to Antonio for grabbing the camera because the cameraman just went for a quick walk back to the vehicle. So thanks Antonio for picking up. You got it. I know I'm taking away from your fishing time, but look at this, he's peeling. Is that a good one? He's peeling drag. It feels like a good fish. So it looks like I'll have to land this one myself. Unless the cameraman comes back in time, we'll see. Wow. Ooh, nice fish. Decent, eh? Gave me, gave me a good bite. As soon as I threw it in, I had a, I'm, I'm looking at the camera and then I, I thought I saw my rod tip going a bit and I thought, can it be? So I waited a second and all of a sudden he just wham, picked it up. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a good fish. <laughs> oh, there's my bait pocket right there. You see the bait pocket? There's my T-turn. That's what I love about these rigs. I'm completely tangle free with this fish. That's beautiful. That's a nice channel cat right there. And the hook on these rigs, in case you're wondering, it's a 5 odd hook. So let me get this fish landed. Yep, he's hooked right in the side of the mouth, so it's a good, good hook. It'll be an easy release. There we go. Ah. No, I can't. <laughs> slipper, he's gonna, he's gonna take off on me. Oh, I should just use the net. The net's right there, right? Just use the net, make it easy. All right, there we go. Oh, that's a good channel, folks. That's a good channel cat. Let's take a look at this fish. Oh, yes, come on up. That's a good channel cat right there. 
that's a nice how's that for the first five minutes of the day unbelievable great set so i'm gonna have to ask antonio to put the camera down i need a picture for facebook and instagram we're gonna get this guy released thanks for that antonio that was a great picture and a great fish i love it i don't know what what do you think he weighs maybe six seven yeah. eight Nice fish. He's a maybe eight. I'm gonna say eight pounds. It's a good sized channel cat. Okay, so he's gonna go back in. Oh, okay. He's gone. <laughs> and my bait pocket. What I'm gonna do? It's fresh. I, I'm just gonna reuse it again. And if uh, I should have mentioned too, like I, when I put the bait pockets on, I like to leave as much hook gap as possible. So if you want to poke it through the middle of the bag, you can. Uh, but I like to go, you know, and leave a little more hook gap so there's uh, no interference with the hook set all right so this is no worse for wear I get my line back out there again because and I'm gonna cast it again in the same area and the reason for that is I want to scent up that area so the catfish migrate and come to that zone and attract more hits what a great start I'm loving it Antonio Antonio I'm on Are you? I'm on I'm on I'm on look at the rod tip Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Hello. Yes! <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, my. Oh, folks, I'm loving this. This is fantastic. Boatless angling at its best. You got the net, Antonio? Net. You're not oh. even letting me fish. No, uh, that was fast, that was eh? very fast. Unbelievable. That was your same bait, right? You just Same bait. I just tossed it back out there. And uh, relatively quick, he bit. Oh, another nice. Oh, another channel. Wow. Another nice channel cat, eh? Look at the colors on that one. Look at this one's brownish. Yeah, it's like, like golden. Golden, right? Yeah. Golden color. Oh, look at the <laughs> He's digging up the bottom there. Oh my goodness, this is unbelievable. Love this channel catfish. It's another good fish. Good fish yeah. I figured that last one was about eight. This one, oh, it's going to be about eight as well. Nice one. Yeah, maybe seven. No, no, he's he's smaller. <laughs> maybe five or six. Oh, he nailed him. Yeah, right. No, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my. Here. No, that's great. Look at the color. It's brown. Really nice, light colored, yellowy brown, golden. Yeah, it's a beautiful oh. channel cat. You go ahead, Antonio. You release him. Right. <laughs> he decides to fight now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. There oh, go. there he goes. Good fish. Wow, he took off. Wow. So, what I'm going to do now, Antonio, this bait pocket is still relatively fresh. It's caught me two fish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab some of my cut bait. I think bait. I've got a bite. I'm going to grab some of my cut bait and put it on the sides and re-scent up. I'm on. Re-scent up this bait pocket. So I'm going to do that now while Antonio brings in this fish. <laughs> so I'm using a sliding sinker. I didn't put the bait pocket. I just put a chunk of meat on on cut bait. Did you? And you catch the... Channels and I kiss the big bullheads. Oh, there you go. Wow, this is a <laughs> that's a good bullhead. Wow. Nice color to them too. I really yellow. Look at that. That's a good. That's a good one. Nice fish. I need the pliers. Okay. Well, you're gonna keep him for the grill. Yeah, I will. Yep. All right. So I am going to get my line back out there again. So what I did, I just I just got some of that cut bait and I just rubbed it on the outside, which basically is kind of re-scenting my, uh, my bag, but it's the same bag. And I'm gonna put it right back out there again in the same spot. <laughs> Let's see if we can get in another fish. Right there, Antonio. <laughs> this, this, <laughs> this bait pocket is producing for me unbelievable. Now I should have also mentioned I'm running the size three bait pocket. What I like, I like the size three and the size five for channel cats. And Antonio got that bullhead earlier on the cut bait. For the bullheads, I like to use the small one, the size one. Or if they're small channel cats, the size one. But for these bigger channels, I like the size three or the size five. That's my preferred. And then, of course, if you're going for blues, 
or flathead, you got the six or the seven. The big boys. Okay, Antonio, I think I got another decent fish. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> he gave me one of those hit and run bites, folks. He just grabbed it and he That's took off. Hey? That's a good one. Oh, yeah. The reason why I'm not there is I think I'm getting a bite here. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, nice oh, 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 oh. Peeling, peeling, peeling. Peel and drag. Oh yeah. Peel and drag. Think he's bigger than the first one? I think he is. Oh yeah, he is. Oh, that's a good channel cat. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Okay. Oh, come on in. You want to land him? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. He's going under your fishing rod. <laughs> yeah. I'll just bring him back. I don't want to get tangled up with your with your line. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Come on, Mr. Channel. That's a good channel cat. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Ten? Close. Very close. That's a good channel cat. My bait pocket is right there. Ooh. Oh, it just came out. Let's see him. Oh yeah, that's he's 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 all of ten. Good fish. He's definitely all of ten. All right, you might as well have the honors again. All right. Okay, now Antonio, we got to get you off that cup bait. I brought. Oh, there he goes. I brought lots of bait pockets. We'll get you set up. All right, sounds All right. good. But what a riot we're having today, folks, and our day is just beginning. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna recent up this bait pocket and keep using it. It's gonna catch me fish after fish, no problem at all. The beauty of fishing, folks, you do not need a boat. Anyone can do it. It's such a simple sport, and it is a lot of fun, very rewarding. Wherever you're tuning in from today, find yourself a shoreline, Get a line wet, have some fun. That's what Antonio and I are doing. I want to thank you, as always, for joining us on today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And until next time, good luck and good fishing. All right, I'm going to dip that up and get that right back out there again. This is unbelievable fishing. <laughs>